shallow and mid-range cranking and that that is how I've really made my living for 28 years now, whatever, most of my whole life. I've been a student of crankbait fishing and crankbaits have evolved over the years so, so much and there's so many different styles and, you know, and, and, you know, and you guys know to follow me, I'm a Livingston guy and I'm going to show you all the Livingston offerings today, but I've worked with Livingston since 2012 to develop every crankbait that I've ever liked to fish. You know, I grew up in North Carolina. Uh, as a you know a Carolina cranker right there on David Fritz, Gerald Beck, David Wright, Jeff Coble, uh, Jerry Lohr, all those old guys from the eastern North Carolina and western North Carolina days I learned to catch fish on crankbaits as a teenager on Lake Gaston, North Carolina on Bugs Island and that's how I became a student of crankbait fishing because I saw these guys always weighing in big bags and always getting checks and just and I knew that's what I needed to do so over the years I've had homemade crankbaits from a lot of great craftsmen over the years and I've kind of taken everything that I've ever loved about crankbaits and I've kind of gotten Livingston to make and develop every style, size, shape, color, and uh, but with the added sound technology in it that gives the sound of the crawfish, the sound of the shad, the sound of a bluegill, whatever the color of the bait, that bait is going to have that natural sound and that biological sound I think helps attract fish into the bait and the bait still works and catches fish even if it didn't have sound in it. That sounds just like icing on the cake sometimes. So when you see seminar in a tank, like if you're at a Bass Pro Shops or one of those big places that have a tank in there and you see us doing seminars and you put that bait in the tank with that sound in it, you can see every fish in the tank in three or four seconds will be on that bait because they hear that sound that proves they like it. That's why I run a hydrowave on my boat as well. My hydrowave, I keep that hydrowave running all the time when I'm crankbait fishing and just about every kind of fishing except for bedding fish, bed fishing, I run that hydrowave up loud and aggressive usually on uh, power pattern or shallow power pattern or, or offshore uh, schooling or uh, one of those kind of delayed schooling. I do those three or four sounds. So make sure if you, if you got a hydrowave, always keep that on when you're running crankbaits and moving baits a lot because it helps stir it up and it helps draw bait fish in and it, and it just creates uh, a, a, you know aggravation, annoyance in the water sometimes enough that it makes fish respond and want to bite. So let me move on. I've got a lot of different baits to show you here. I'm going to step back here to the slide and as you can see right up here on it now uh, we're going to go right here to shallow, shallow zero to, zero to six foot. I kind of left most of my PowerPoints wide open here because I don't want to write everything down that's real specific. I want you to take what you want from what I'm saying and you write that part down or record that if you're, you know, because some people get something from one thing, some will get it from another. And, uh, and this is such a wide open spectrum here. Shallow cranking, what does it mean? What is shallow? You know, zero to six foot is kind of what I put. Most common crankbait style. I say, why? Why is that? Why is that? When you think of cranking, you think of square bills. Most people think square bill. Every company there is makes a square bill. Every homemade bait maker makes square bills. But zero to three foot, I want to cover these different styles and show you each one of them. But the zero to three foot weight style, let's start there. This is one you don't hear as much about. And uh, being that I grew up in North Carolina on Lake Gaston and Bugs Island and my Red Man Tournament Trail back in the old days, we fished Potomac River. And uh, Potomac River, Tidal Rivers, any of those shallow places, James, Chickahominy, any guys from the East Coast, you know what I'm talking about. The old Baby One Minus was a, was a crankbait back in the old day that, that dominated on that river and nobody had anything like it. And it was like a zero to one and a half foot bait and you could throw it over top of that grass and just burn it and it was the ugliest thing and I'll never forget it when I was a teenager seeing this bright chartreuse crankbait with this little bitty lip and thinking you know no it looks like a light bulb we kind of call it the light bulb coming through the water because it was so bright and those fish would kill it I mean, and eat it and so uh, I, I learned to fish that bait in the shallow tidal waters and took those shallow baits around and started kind of expanding on them and let me show you a couple different ones right here. This is, a, this is the, my Howler square bill right here. If you look at this one, this is one that I got them to make uh, about really about five or six years ago. This is the body of the Howler bait that I'll show you later that I won the classic on. It's the mid-diving mid style. But we took that body and we put this circuit board lip on it. And this circuit board lip has a different shape than, than a lot of the other ones. It has a real sharp tip on both corners and that circuit board has that rigid flex to it so it has a hard vibration and this bait 
It's really a zero to four foot bait, but I fish it a lot in a foot and a half to two foot of water over grass and not just wood. It has the properties of a, of a balsa type bait. It floats up, it bounces off really good. You can't hardly hang it up, but it really, it dominates in grass, over top of grass. So this bait, it'll, it'll go about 12 inches side to side as you're reeling it fast and you can burn it and it'll just kick side to side like that and it'll it'll catch them and I and I love it on and so that style of a bait I kind of call that my wake style bait so this and a baby one minus and some of your wooden baits with the wake style lips on them that are made to run fast and I like to run these I like to run these fast baits in uh and the information Bass University provides isn't your basic run-of-the-mill fishing video. This is specific information from A to Z to help you learn, get to the water, and become a better angler quickly.